Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I will be doing a hair straightening battle of my all-time favorite hair straightener, which is my favorite Fabulous Pro to straightener versus something new on the market today, which is the Acevea comb straightener. So there are the straightening plates in between the comb and you can't really touch them because they're protected on all sides. The Fabulous one that I like, just this thick two inch straightening plate that has a built in comb attachment. I've been using this for years and years. It's a dinosaur and I absolutely love it. So just a quick question for you. Can you tell what side I used the Babilis on and what side I used the Aceveo on? Also, like always, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video to see more content just like this. Look at this thick, tangly hair. It is almost impossible to get through with just a plain flat iron. As you can see in between the combs are like these hot plates in between the combs so on the settings right here it st says it starts at 265 degrees Fahrenheit and it goes all the way up to 395 degrees Fahrenheit how long my hair is after I've straightened it with the two straighteners and I can't even fit it inside the frame of the camera because it's so long so in short I think both of them are two amazing straighteners I think the Babilis would be good if you want to be more thorough and pin straight but I also think the comb straightener wouldn't do so bad if you're in a rush Say you go to work early every morning, it is absolutely perfect. I mean, I was able to t pretty much take the half of the my head that I was going to straighten and fit it in in one swipe. It also gave me a lot more volume. It didn't straighten every strand, which caused the hair to poop up a little bit more. The Babylis just made it pure pin straight. All right, so with that said, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed the review. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below, and I will catch you later. Bye.